Hi, my name is Carsten Beinecke. I'm the CEO of AC Plant Consult. In this video I show you Plant Data Manager, one of our plant tools. Plant Data Manager allows you to edit your data created by AutoCAD PIN-ID. Plant Data Manager can be used on any machine which has access to your project. You do not need to have AutoCAD PIN-ID or AutoCAD Plant 3D or any other Autodesk application for that matter installed on your machine. When you start Plant Data Manager you have the same look and feel as you have in the built-in Data Manager in AutoCAD PIN-ID. But of course there are some advantages using Plant Data Manager. As with the other plant tools, firstly you select your project. The default view is to the project data. You can select a drawing view as well as the project reports defined in your project. This includes your own user-defined views as well. When you select drawing data, you can choose multiple drawings too, with the result of seeing all the data of the selected drawings. The classes again are the same as in AutoCAD PIN-ID. You can move columns around and modify the columns width as well. Just click on the column and move it and just stretch the columns as you would like to see them. The current settings of the columns will be saved when leaving Plant Data Manager. When you start Plant Data Manager again, you will have the same column settings again. The column settings can be X and imported as well. This enables you to have different column settings depending on the type of job you need Plant Data Manager for. If you edit data you can see which classes and which drawings are affected. Let's type in some data for the pumps. Type in the manufacturer for example. You can copy with a right click and copy and paste. If you paste you can select with a control key some of the fields and paste the new data. Another manufacturer, maybe some weight. And so on. Again, you see the classes and the drawings which are affected. Maybe also some instrumentation bubbles. Copy, you can also use the keys, control. C and then select the range with the shift key and paste the new data. You can sort and filter as in AutoCAD PNRD's data manager. Just click in the column header to sort or if you want to filter for example use filter by selection. Remove filter. In addition to that you can use extended sorting. For example, we use the location as the first column, and then we add another one and we want to sort by tag. It actually works like in Microsoft Excel. Now first the blanks, DCS and then PLC and then by the tag. Very useful is Find and Replace, which works as in Microsoft WinWord. For example, KSB replaced by APV. Replace all, for example, and it will be replaced four times. Going back to the pumps, it changed everywhere. 
In addition to editing data in the grid, you can edit your data in a properties box as well. No matter where you edit your data, grid and properties box will be updated parallel. And the second example, you see it in both windows. A nice feature is to be able to view the drawing within Plant Data Manager. This is very helpful if you don't have AutoCAD PNID installed on your machine. When you leave Plant Data Manager, the data you changed will be saved in a so-called transfer file. When you start Plant Data Manager again, the changes will be loaded automatically. The cat person is now responsible to review your changes and accept or reject them. To do that, you just need to click on Import Data and you see all the changes. Again, you see which drawings are affected. A very big difference is the fact that you see all the affected classes at once. No need to import class by class as you need to do if you use AutoCAD PNID's data manager. Other than that, it works the same as AutoCAD PNID's data manager. With one example, you can turn off all objects, drawings and classes which are not affected by any changes. Now you see only the affected classes, drawings and objects. You can click on an object and it will, if necessary, open the drawing and zoom onto the object. At the end you use Accept or Reject as in AutoCAD PNID's Data Manager. The last feature I want to show is the log file. The log file resides under your project. Path and file name can be configured. If we open the log file with Excel, you see all the changes we accepted. Every change will be added to the file so you get a complete history of the data modifications. You see the timestamp, the machine and username, the tag, the property and old and new data. Thanks for listening and take a look at our other videos too.